Uh, it should be good. Uh, is the volume too low? I'm trying to go live on TikTok also, but this thing is not it's not it's not working too good. Uh oh. I pull up the wrong thing. <clears throat> All right, beloved, we'll begin shortly. Let me see if I can go live on TikTok. I'm trying to go live, and it's become increasingly difficult because I believe they require you to get 1,000. Oh, okay. 
1,000 subscribers, which I passed, but they keep me at 950 something. And forgive me, beloved, uh, you might hear certain noises outside. So that would be my beloved mother out there. All right, so I'm trying to go live on TikTok, but there we go. Gaming line of sex app applicable. I, I don't do gaming. I don't do gaming. I can't I can go live on TikTok, at least on my phone. Can I go live on my phone? Well, if I go live on the phone, I won't be able to take call. Somebody please put the put the phone number in the in the chat room for the people. You may call now, beloved. We will discuss the the great day for tomorrow, and also that uh, TV show on Netflix called The Three Body of Problem. Man, why does I get Jack? Oh man. You can call now to give your information that you have gathered yourself and, and we'll continue. Somebody was asking for the name of the video we were playing yesterday. I can't post it in there. Hmm. Do, we, do I even have TikTok in here? I don't. Oh boy, I don't have TikTok in there. I don't have TikTok in this one. All right, well, let's move in then. Uh, if I have TikTok, if I go live on TikTok in this, it's going to be an issue. All right. Let us play the video one more time. And then in the meantime, the beloved can call and then they can do. I believe we have a, we have a dream from Sister Sister Zita. Let's share it with the with the nation. Hang on, somebody call. Hang on. Yes, let's call this person back. Not quite sure that is. Hey, Lee. Hey, shalom, beloved. What you got for the nation? All right. Um, I got I got two things. Um, I was rewatching the um the live y'all did yesterday. Uh, I watched it twice. Uh, the day of the earthquake, and um, a lady called in and said that she had a dream of an old lady that spoke to her in a dream, or something like that. And um, so. This morning, I'm listening to that live again, and I'm starting to doze off, and my little brother calls me. And he's not dreaming. This really just happened to him. He says an, an, a homeless-looking woman, older woman, came up to him and told him, just she just started talking to him and said, you know, a lot of people are going to die on the 8th, right? And uh, she started to say, like, God is angry at, the Christian churches and all those Israelite camps and all of them like telling lies. And she was saying stuff about like a, a flood or something like that. And I remember you played a clip of a guy talking about the firmament opening and the water coming down. And she just starts talking to my brother and telling him all of this stuff. Right. So I, I thought that that was crazy. Like I'm half awake when he's telling me this. Um, the day that you guys are doing the line, I was making some unleavened bread and I'll send the song lyric. I started singing this song. I paused it to make the bread and I uh, started singing this song called The Hunter by a band called Danzig. I haven't heard this song in years. I don't even know why I started singing. I just started singing. And um, when I came back to the computer, I hit play and, you know, uh, uh, I think the guy called back in and, and he said from Kadeem from uh, Philly, he said, uh, he said that he's going to release Hunters and you showed the uh, epicenter and he said Hunters Don, Hunter Don or something like that. You remember that? Yeah, and dawn means to put on apparel, like to put something on. And I thought of like soldiers putting on war apparel, you know what I mean? So take that with, to, you know, I don't know what you want to do with that, but I'll send you the lyrics to the song. And 
after I realized you guys are talking about the hunters, I was I started singing the song for no reason. I went back and read the lyrics and I said, damn, it's over. <laughs> it's over. So I said I'll text it over. I don't know if you want to read it. No problem, but... beloved. It's always good. Uh text it to me and then I must see if I can pull it up and put it on the uh on screen. On the screen so the people can see it. We may not be able to play the song, but we can read the lyrics. Yeah, that's fine. I, I just thought the lyrics, because the lyrics are intense. I, I was singing this making eleven bread. It was, just, it was crazy. I was like, man, I can't believe this is even the way everything lined up. I mean, little things that I even picked up, like I think the eclipse was on April 5th, so four or five, and the guy said he was 45 miles away from epicenter. It's just like there's so many numbers going in that it's I think this might, I don't know. I'm hoping to get these shackles off my wrist. I saw I, I, this is just crazy. So I just wanted to share what my experiences, and hopefully everybody could take something from. It. All right, beloved. We will go a little bit into the the details. Okay. All right, no problem. Shalom. Shalom. As I'm advancing in age, my eyes are starting to fail me. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on here. There you go. Finally, that freaking Tic Tac just downloaded in, 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 in the, the other phone. Now, beloved, let me close this thing. I don't think we might need this to play some music. I'm not going to shut it down yet. Put it at half. We might play some music there. I believe we have another caller. We have a, a, another caller. Let's see if we can call this person, hopefully. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I think she tried to call us back, and then we'll call her. I'm assuming it's a she. Hello? Hey, Shalom, beloved. What you got for the nation? Shalom, brother. How you feeling today? So far, so good. Good. Listen, yeah, I've just started watching you. I've been following you for, for a while, following you and Big Judah. And uh, you guys are really bringing out some truths here. But I wanted to share my experience because there was something that I had um, seen in the sun. I was out, out in my um, uh, deliveries, making deliveries. I live in Maryland. And, um, you know, of course, we know what the Bible says. You're going to see signs of the sun, moon, stars, and so forth. Well, I happened to look up one day. And something just told me, look up at the sky. And I look up at the sky, and I see this big perfect ring around the sun. When I say perfect in formation, it was perfect. And the moment I saw that, I said to myself, now that's a sign. Something is about to happen. Not sure what's going to happen, but something is going to happen because the book says you're going, God's going to give us signs and, and the sun and moon and stars. And when I saw that, I was like, wow, this is something. And this, I saw this, I saw this back on March the 19th. And this was prior to that bridge being hit in Baltimore and the earthquake that happened on Friday and everything else. But I knew right then and then when I saw that perfect ring, and I'll send, I can send it to you, I've seen the text. I can show you the, see, see, see the photo, let me check it out. But it was this, it, it was, it was, the sun was just beaming and it was big perfect circle, perfect information around the sun. You got to see it. So I just want to share that with you, with you guys and, uh, you know, let you know, hey, that things are happening. We're definitely seeing things. And uh, as the scripture said it would before uh, judgments come, come upon these, these 83s. Yes, yes. Thank you, beloved, for sharing. Thank you. All right, bro. All right, Shalom. Shalom. We have another caller. I believe somebody else called. Okay. Shalom, beloved. What you got for the nation? Shalom, Big Levi. Shalom, family. I actually had a dream last night. And I was like, okay, this is actually pretty interesting. Um, I was at a wedding. And it was a beautiful wedding. Flowers were everywhere. It was almost like a pink and white. And there was a big group of people coming down the aisle, except for this was a really long aisle. And there was a turn. Like they, have, they would have had to go around the corner. But anyway, 
they're carrying this bed and it's like half of a bed and there's a woman in the bed who's actually my auntie but <laughs> and she was just jumping around her arms were in the air she was celebrating everybody's happy everyone's screaming and they're just carrying this bed and I assumed that she was the bride um and they just carried her around the corner and it was like we were going down an aisle except for I just stayed where I was at. And then someone asked me to play a song. It was a, uh, I don't know the name of the song. You know that, uh, in the jungle, the mighty jungle. Yeah, that song. Uh, Aku Akuna Matata, I believe it's in Simba, the movie, uh, Lion Kings, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. The one that goes, uh, the lion sleeps tonight. Everyone was like, oh, my way. That yeah. one, I, I don't know the name of that song. <laughs> um, oh my God. Sorry, my husband is, never mind. Go, go ahead. <laughs> so they told me to look up the song and to play the song. So I'm trying to type it in to play the song, and I just can't play the song. Like, I can't play it at all. Like, so... I don't know what to think about it, except for we're going home. <laughs> Shalom, family. Shalom, beloved. Yes, yes, we are going home. Um, let me see. I'm trying to go live on TikTok. I'm not quite sure if it's working. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's if swap to see real time performance. Uh, but I don't know. I think I'm live on TikTok. But anyway, of course, beloved, the movie, um, uh, The Lion King with Simba, uh, lost. This is very spiritual, okay? Where he um, he lost his father, okay? He was so I get jacked by his uncle who tried to kill him and all this thing. And then he went and uh, he got restored, becoming the king again. He got it, it's a form of restoration, new beginning, restoration. The the king is coming back and all this stuff. Okay, we I think we have somebody um, and uh, somebody just call. Let's see if we can take this person. Shalom, big Levi. Hey, shalom, beloved. What you got for the nation? Hey, 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 grand rising to everybody. Hope everybody doing good. Um, I was going through some stuff for a couple months. Um, and then I ended up getting a job. I just wanted to share this with the nation. And the job that I got, I now work for a company called Phoenix. You know, so when I see that, I say, you know, the phoenix rising from the ashes and all that. So I figure I wanted to share that with the nation. Also today, I was in a corner store, in a Gentile corner store. And a guy walked in and he said, hey, you have glasses to see the eclipse? And the guy said, um, no, we're all sold out. So when the guy walked out, the guy behind the counter was telling me, he said, yeah, and he said something coming with it called a devil's comet. And he said, yeah, this comet don't come till every 71 years. So I thinking to myself, wow, this is really a new beginning, you know? So they paying attention to, you know, they know they're in trouble, they so, know, you know. They, they know, beloved. They know. All Listen, praises to the most high, you know. Beloved, there, there, is a, there is a difference between knowing and running from reality. Okay? They could run, but they can't hide. They can't hide. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's the truth. Thank you, beloved, for sharing with us. You're welcome. Have a good one. All praises.
Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Uh, yes. Uh, tic Tac, can you can you hear me? The Tic Tac, uh, can you Tic Tac? Yes. Uh, the people in YouTube could not hear me, so I'm doing two things. Actually, I'm doing five things at one time. Sorry about that, beloved. Sorry, it's uh, it's kind of a little bit new to me. I'm doing Tic Tac and I'm doing YouTube, and we are taking the call. Okay, the people in Tic Tac, uh, I think I have four people watching, and then I think they say they say they can they can hear me. All right, good. Yes. Uh, all right then. Good. So um, yes, let's go ahead and play the the video for the video that the brother shared with us. Okay, we're going to play it again. Then at the end of the podcast, we're going to get into the three bodies of water and the movie King Godzilla versus King Kong, okay? In the meantime, let me see if I can go get something to put the phone in, or is the phone good wherever it's at? Is it good here? I think it's good. Next time, I'm going to put it right here so I can, you know, look straight at it. All right, let me see if somebody else call uh, Sister Connie. Okay, she said, I would like to call, but, you know, I can't respond. Can you share with the nation that last week, three members of my job, children, no more, and I asked where they their first born, and all say, yes, these are all Gentiles. Uh, we have the beloved sister. She's hard of hearing, okay? She not able to... Um, articulate properly. And I, I believe that the sister can call. She can call and then just go ahead and say the thing. She can read my lips. She she can read lips. Amazing. I can do this. The sister can actually read everything I'm saying here. Uh, if the sister can call, I will not interrupt her, you know, and then that would be good. But the sister said at her job, okay, three members, they have their children, no more. And then when she asked them, are they your firstborn? All of them say yes. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Their firstborn are being no more. Okay? So I don't know if this thing is, uh, I don't want it that much echo in the back, in the background. So, all right, let's see, five, six. Okay, I think we're good. Let's keep on moving. If the sister may want to call, she can call. Okay, uh, brother, text this. I'm going to go to that. Uh, brother Ali just text me. I did not see this. Uh, we have two other call. Let's call Atlanta back. Hopefully it's not Crystal. People in um, TikTok, are you good? Hello. Hey, Shalom, beloved sister. What, no. you, got, what you got for the nation? I, you know, I wanted to share this dream that I've had. I had this dream nine years ago. I never shared it with anyone. Um, and I've been watching you for a while. And I thought I need to share it with someone. I had it April of 2015. And here we are nine years later. But the dream was certainly, I believe, from God, the Most High God. And um, I not only had that dream, but I asked the Most High God, what did this mean and why did he show me this? And I asked him to please show me again. And he showed me and two, a second and a third dream. He, he confirmed it to me. But again, it's been nine years ago and nothing ever happened. But the dream was um, I was in my bed and I sat up in my dream and my in, in the wall in front of my bed, there was a big spotlight uh, about the size of a beach ball. And in the spotlight was a map of the United States of America. And all of the states were labeled like in their initial state, like New York for NY for New York and CA for California and uh, East West that divided the states and there was three area code numbers to the upper right, but I couldn't hold them together in my, after I had the dream, I lost, I lost it. But there were area codes. And there was a man who, um, he was some kind of expert. He was a, maybe a seismologist or something. And he was pointing out on the map and he was informing the people. He was saying that the top half of the state will be hit harder than the bottom half of the state. 
And in the dream, I was bothered by the fact that it was a, that Seattle was stamped on the map because I said, well, is this, a, is this a map of Seattle? So I came out of the dream and I immediately got my phone and I Googled what a map of Seattle, Washington looked like. And it was, an, it was not Seattle. It was a map of the United States of America. And I, it was so vivid, I couldn't understand. And, and, the, and the guy in the dream said, well, there's going to be the top half of the states are going to be hit harder than the second half of the, the bottom half of the states. So when I asked the Most High God to show me what it meant, I had a dream the second night. And um, it was just um, a dream with a, a hot air balloon, you know, the, the one that people can ride in. And out of the hot air balloon were all of the balloons, uh, different colors coming, floating, flowing out of the balloon, out of that hot air balloon with all of the states of the United States, on, well, all of the initials of the United States on the, on, the, um, on the balloons. And when I came out of the dream, I'm like, oh my God, he's showing me again. And, um, and I, it still wasn't enough. I said, will you just please show me what you mean? What do you want me to do? Why, why am I having this? What do you want me to say? And I had a third dream the following night that uh, another hot air balloon with a lot of balloons coming out, but this time the balloons were like a silhouette. They were like all black, but still had the initials of all of the states of the United States. And I just, I was so bothered by that dream. And now that has been nine years ago. And I thought maybe it was just a dream, call a dream a dream, but maybe maybe now is the time the Most High God will deal with, uh, with that dream. I don't know. I just have never shared it with anyone, but it has stayed with me for all these years. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you. Thank you, beloved. Thank you. Thank you. And, and it, after nine years, of course, uh, for the people that know what number nine stand for, and they release the, the meaning to you and to the nation after nine years. So we do know what's going on. There is no escape for this, beloved. There is no escape. There, there is no, I'm sorry. There is no, hey, how about another another change? So how about this? Or how about we, we, we coexist together? Uh, remembering the um, thank you, beloved sister. Okay, thank you for sharing thank with you. us. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Right, bye. Um, remember, and the um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna spoil it for for you. And three bodies of okay, we we have another call. We'll, we'll get to that. We cannot coexist with liars. All right, shalom, beloved. What you got for the nation? Shalom, big liar. This is Sister Pandora. Can you hear me? Yes, I believe we can hear you. TikTok, can you hear her? Go ahead. All right, quick thing. Um, we have a, we had an Indian Chiefs meeting today, and um, we were talking about a phrase that they say in the South that if the Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, we'll be okay. That was the uh, North Carolina and the Continental Congress, and it dawned on me, the Creek Nation has risen. So they're in trouble. The Creek has risen. Not the Creek that runs behind their house. It's the Creek Nation. That's all. Those who know, know. Shalom. Shalom, beloved. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. But we, we have a lot of calls coming. Let me see if I can get to the others. Uh, forgive us, the people in TikTok, we, we can post the phone number, but the people that are on TikTok, please type the phone number so if others wish to call us, they can call it. That's the people. Okay, we got the sister, the sister Michelle. Uh, Shalom, beloved, what you got for the nation? Uh, hello, Big Levi. Um, I guess I'm calling from Erie, Pennsylvania, Nineveh. Um, I want to start with my mom about the uh, eclipse. Uh, she was seeing on social media a lot that, oh, it's a bad eclipse coming in. So she said she went to pray about it. And when she went into prayer to say, is this eclipse evil? She said she heard it will hold you accountable. And then the next thing she heard was make no mistake. And I wanted to also say my daughter had a dream of a big bird on fire. And she said it was really huge and it was on fire. She said the only bird she, when she looked it up, she could make it out to be was a phoenix. 
for me, oh, I have so many things happen. But the most recent um, thing I wanted to mention, as I was in prayer, and I heard after with a really strong tongue, I could like feel the tongue getting together. It was really strong, and I heard Michelle, I love you. Then I felt going up my lower back to probably underneath my neck. Just pure goodness. I don't know how to describe this. It was innocent. It was pure. It was like being patted like a job well done, kind of. That's how I took it as. And as it got to the top, probably underneath my neck, I felt like my head almost bowed a little bit. Which, to me, I just felt like, oh, I finally did something right. I prayed something right for us. Um, We should have no fear. I've had um, dreams as far as running in front of of water, um, getting to a safe place where I look up, and then I I do see crystal clear, clear blue. It's blue, but it's very clear, and it's very clean water. It's being held back by something. Um, I've had a dream where I was at my daughter's house, even though she goes in an apartment. In the dream, she had a house. And I looked, someone came through the door. I could barely see him. I was fussing about her wall being open. I said, I can look from her bedroom and see out to the living room. And there was a staircase going up. And then I seen someone bending down, and they came and sit down. So I, I go, me and my son go in the living room, and it's this man i never seen before. And he sits down, kind of what we called in the old days, Indian style. And he kind of had like a tangled type of a tan type on his head and some overalls. And he just sits down. I find myself saying, oh, hi, Grandpa. But he's not any Grandpa I ever knew. And he never spoke to me. But that's what I said. Then a woman comes with her arms outstretched and a long Afghan and just very welcoming and smiling. She never spoke to me, but I'm like, oh, hi, Grandma. Then the next thing I look down, I got, like, black rain boots on, and then I'm in water. I can't swim a lick, but I'm in water. I'm a Pisces, but I, I can't swim a lick. When I'm in water, I see a big wave coming. I was like, okay, well, you can't swim, so this doesn't look good. But when the wave came, and there was other people in the water, they were hollering, but I'm looking at the big wave. And then when it came, I just, like, braced yourself. But it gently pushed me to safety to the edge where I was still looking at these other people in the water. Um, Normally when I dream, I try not to pick up anything, but I also had a dream like it was a big parade of rowdy people and I had gotten in front of them. I didn't want to join them. Um, I kept walking. I got so far in the grass. There was a key, a golden key. There was a... um, a, a, like a gift box or something, a small box, and there was a golden kazoo. And I picked all three up. I didn't know, you well, know. Sister, you said there was four. a golden or get or golden what? There was a key and what? Uh, it was a, a golden key, a golden kazoo, and then like a white small, I don't know if it was a ceramic gift box. I don't know what it was made out of, but it's very small. Okay. And Later on, I had a dream, actually, that I I used that key. And it was around the same time you were talking about the upper room, because I dreamt I had this key. I got all my things. I was moving into place. It was all our people there. And um, I was fussing because I went to the refrigerator. I said, somebody lives here. Why would they give me a key where somebody lives? And I looked around. There was boxes, and I could clearly see somebody lived there. I said, but, you know, this was the building they told me to go to. So I take my mom. I said, oh, golden stairs appear. We went up the stairs. So as I'm putting the key in, I hear a male voice. He goes, "Uh, may I help you? And then I said, oh, we're trying keys because they gave me a key and I wanted to see if it fit in here. And then he said, he says, one moment, please. And then a girl comes out and looks at us, just looks. And then she says, one moment, please. And she goes back. Then there's a man standing there. He's tall. He's in a suit. He's dark complected, very nice, very eloquent. And he was like, may I see your key, please? So I hand him the key and I'm fussing, like, why would they give me a key if, you know, <laughs> if somebody else lived there? I don't understand it. They told me 4G. 
And he's like, well, this is 4G. And then he took the key and where I was trying to get it in on 4G, he took it over and he said, hmm, this is a first. And he, he opens the door and it opens 6G. And it was like a big room. I really didn't, can't remember what it looked like. I just remember there was some huge room. And not too long afterward, he did something. Well, um, I've had dreams of having speed, being very fast with someone above me saying, you know, be careful or watch out. No, they were like, watch out. And I was like, they better watch out for me. I've had uh, dreams like, like having to say to the most high, I call him Abba Yah. And um, where someone, they actually touch me. Okay, uh, beloved, and, beloved we, ha uh, we have quite a few people calling, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Thank you yeah. for um, hearing, me, hearing me out. But my main thing is um, we don't have to um, be fearful. Um, in the last dream, I was like, um, the most high put them in some kind of fear, fear like a, a, a force field type, and he was breaking arms and legs. But <laughs> we, we have to have nothing to fear is what I mainly wanted to say. So it's like you say, be at peace. And thank you guys, everybody, for being patient and hearing me. Love you all. Protection on every side and peace on every side. Thank you so much. Shalom, beloved. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Um, again, beloved, uh, they, we don't have those professional setups well, we <coughs> we couldn't put you on the line and six, four, seven people. <coughs> we have to take them, excuse me, one by one. And as a sister said, uh, no fear. Somebody say when you sit Indian style, your legs form a cross. And then the sister saw the upper room where we're going to have our Passover. And we are actually, I am and the others, we are in the Passover. All right, let's see if we can call the others that just call. Um, oh boy, we got a lot of people that call. Did I call that person from Georgia? Ah, oh boy, I don't know. Did I? Somebody call us from Atlanta, Georgia. See if we can get to this person. Okay, we cannot get to Georgia. Let's see if we can get to Virginia. And the main in the meantime, Tic Tac, are we okay over there in Tic Tac? Do you hear the people well? Is it too loud? Hello. Hey, Shalom, beloved. What you got? Shalom. For, what you got for the nation? All right. Uh, I've been in this truth for a while. Uh, I've had many uh, dreams and visions and people visiting me in my lifetime. Uh, I grew up in a, a a family where it was very hard for me. Um, the one I want to share with you was that uh, I had a dream about seven, eight years ago. And uh, what I saw was me going down a dirt road with trees covering the dirt road. I was in a car. It brought me to an opening in an open field, and there was a great church there. There was a woman in the car with me that I didn't notice until I got out. And uh, listening to Big Judah's study about the Ruach, I learned that she was an old lady, but she was able to stand. She wasn't, you know, sitting. And uh, anyways, she told me to be strong. And what I saw was a big vortex over this large church. And there were uh, men on horses with white hoods running back and forth across this field on horses at a high rate of speed. And uh, there were other large beings and smaller beings walking slowly, but they were making great strides and they were building weapons of war. And uh, I was standing there and I had the Bible in my hand. And then um, one of the horsemen rode up on me and he took off his hood. And under his hood, he had a bowl haircut and the middle was bald. And uh, he said with a great voice he's like i come here to destroy you all and a little bit of fear came over me but the lady the old lady next to me touched me again and she told me to be strong and then i woke up and i also had a question for you what's that stone on your neck i, I didn't catch the name of it <laughs> okay okay uh beloved to to answer your last question the stone that you see on my neck, it's called, uh, we dub it as the YMZ, but the proper name is called Yi Meng Zhu. This is uh, armor. This is a weapon. 
Yes. Because Yi Meng Zhu, and there is a lot of fake. Uh, I will suggest you contact our beloved brother, Chief Negro. Okay, the Yi Meng Zhu, it's spelled Yi, Y E, Ming, M I N G, like the Ming Dynasty when our people were ruling China. And Zhu, uh -huh. Zhu spelled Z U or either Z H U. Either one is good. Yi Meng Zhu. Uh, uh, about a, a year ago, I believe, I told everybody sell your house, get one of those. Um, sell everything you can you can have, get one of them. They have yes. all the price. This one costs you about 96 bucks tonight from 36, 96 to one billion dollars. Okay, they got price in them that are in one billion dollars. I'm not making this up. Wow. Yes, this is considered one of the two prime so stone, the Yumim and the Tumim. Okay, is that am I saying that right? The the uh, the Yumim and the Tumim, both of those stones. We the the crystal. Okay, this is our quantum computer, which we consider as the uh, the the Umim, and this is the Tumim. Those two stones. We use them when we are going on other dimension. When we are communicate with other beings and each other. This is uh this go far. This is beyond a quantum computer. This thing op operated be below the plank length. Okay, if you okay. watch, if you watch the uh, the, I, I don't think we'll have time discussing the the, the TV show, the TV show three body of um th three body of problem. The highest technology those people have on Earth, so to speak, was nanotech. This go below femto, ato. Okay, um below. Um, the plank length. Once once you pass below the plank length, that's when you enter the quantum realm. Another word, magic. They call it quantum, quantum physics, quantum computer, magic computer, crystal. Called crystal. Okay. So the, the stone is called Yi Ming Zhu. It's actually, if I turn off the light right now, I don't think it will work, but let's see if we can turn off the light. Uh, all right, that's uh, it won't work because the light in the computer is too bright. If if I turn <laughs> off the light, uh, the people in um, the people in TikTok can actually see it, it glows by its own volition. If you the wow. darker you go, if you enter a cave, you keep going darker and darker, this thing gonna shine brighter and brighter until it becomes somewhat like a sun, it has its own source of power. It doesn't really need to be in the sun to glow or anything. The moment you put it in darkness, it's going to glow, glow. The deeper it goes into darkness, the brighter it shines. So there are multicolors from $35 from green to purple. The purples are very expensive. Um, they go from $35.95 to $1 billion. I'm not wow. making this up. Okay? Yeah, you I think you called it a lightsaber at one time. It is a lightsaber because it's a weapon. At yeah. one time, we can discuss the thing. At one time, I, I, got, I got into a very uncomfortable situation. And I was challenged by a being. And then I fought this being. And then it was the Yimeng Zhu that oh, somebody's calling that came in. And then, and then I turned it into a lightsaber. And then I fought this being. It didn't end up too well for that fellow that challenged me. But anyway, right. uh, thank you, beloved. Okay? Okay, thank you. All right, shalom. Uh, uh, Sister Waslin, is that you? Yes. All right, Shalom, beloved. What you got for the nation? Well, um, it's just that that sister that called about um, the song from the Lion King um, about during the the New Year's period around March the twenty first or twenty second. We were driving down to Louisiana. I was in the passenger side, and so something just told me to look up. And so I, I looked and I saw the saw clouds and um, one of them just started morphing into different shapes, but it wasn't like it was moving. It was just the center of the cloud was morphing. And so it became like animals, um, like two types of birds and something. But I don't remember exactly what they were, but the last one was a lion and it stayed there for a while and I just kept looking at it. And then all of a sudden, it was like it made eye contact with me and I felt some type of energy come through 
And I was just like, wow. And it, it just stayed with me for at least 10 more minutes. And I think we were driving across the bridge because we were coming from um, Vicksburg, Mississippi, going into um, Louisiana, to the New Orleans. And then um, another thing that happened during the same weekend, it might have been the same day. Um, oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, 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 I remember. Um, we were just driving down the street. And all of a sudden, my husband said, oh, that's, that's on, you know, that college that I sent you in an email, I mean, in a text message. And so he just pulled over. And I, I just got out and just said, I'm going to take some pictures. And so I just take, started taking pictures. And I was just not even thinking about anything in particular. But um, just when I was about to get into the car, something told me to um, open the ley line. And... So I had to look up to see what the word was because I couldn't remember. And when I looked it up and I said it, um, when I was getting back in the car, I feels like I could feel the ancestors um, trying to touch me or pull me or something. They like they were trying to communicate with me. It was kind of weird, and uh, that energy stayed with me for you know a few blocks down um, by the time we left. And then also the last thing, what made me call you is um, when you were talking about the, the YMZ, while I was there, I was wearing mine um, out and um, a few people co uh, commented on it and wanted to know what it was. And I told them, you know, it was the, the, the name of it. And I just said it was for protection and they, they thought it was pretty cool. And um, mine had never really glowed any other color but green yes because that's uh, the color that's the color it is there are multiple colors out there um i believe yeah. that the most the most potent one is the purple one however the green one it, i don't think the color matter that much but the green one are the most affordable one they go 400 dollar per ounce no not per ounce per gram 400 dollar per gram this is probably, oh boy, this is probably three, two to 300 gram. Let's say this is 100 gram, okay? $400, that's $4,000. That's the purple one, okay? So that's what it is, beloved. Uh, if yours glow green, that's because it is green, all right? Well, well, no, this one, it, it usually only grows green. But this time, this time it was um, a very light, um, blue, it changed colors to blue, and it was bright, um, brightly shining after we after I went back to the hotel. And can y'all hear me? Could it? Yes. Yes. Uh, someone was trying to call me. I couldn't. Tell. But uh, yeah, and it just it was shining bright blue. It usually wouldn't be that bright of a bright shining, but it was shining pretty bright and caught my attention and it was blue instead of green. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, beloved, for sharing this with the nation. I was trying to call you back, but we got a lot of callers to take in. That's why I could not. Okay. Reach you. Okay. Shalom, family. All right. Shalom. All right, beloved. Let's see if we can call a few more, a few of the more people. Uh, we have quite a, a lot of people to call. Uh, boy, uh, let me see. Somebody in Colorado, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the people on TikTok, are you good over there in TikTok? Shalom. Hey, shalom, beloved brother. What you got for the nation? So we bought these two rabbits about three months ago, and they were supposedly fixed. But I noticed they had been break baking bread with each other. And I just kind of, you know, let it go at that. Um, the day after Easter, which is a holiday I do not celebrate, but my, my wife does. They do some things with Easter eggs and such. The day after that, I was out on the street playing music with some friends. And I, my wife called me and told me that the bunnies had had babies, but they weren't moving. And uh, so I ran home to see what was going on because my daughter had found the babies. So then I looked at them. They were not moving they 
apparently I'd been there for a while. There was no aroma or smell. So I figured maybe if we put them on a blanket, they'd be all right or something of this nature. Um, three days passed and I was out again with on the street playing music. And um, she called me and said um, that, well, actually I got home after playing music and I asked her where the rabbits were. And she said that they buried them. Um, so they were dead, I presume. But again, there was no aroma. The other two rabbits were very standoffish to them. Um, and there were seven of them. And that's what I wanted to share. Also, uh, I'm a member of the Creek Nation as well. Shalom. Shalom, beloved. Yeah. Uh, a lot of us, we don't celebrate those holidays, but our uh, better half does. Our mothers does. Families. Husband. There's nothing we can do. The death or it seems like the... Well, the rabbits being no more, it's a symbol, it's, it's a great sim symbolization of their quote unquote holidays, the Easter being done with. Those folks haven't got a proper holiday since 2019. For those of you who know exactly what's going on, okay? So thank you, beloved brother, for sharing, okay? Yes, shalom. Uh, shalom. <clears throat> All right, we got a couple more people, got somebody. And and marathon. Let me see if I can call this person. Uh, I think did I call her yet? Please leave your message for. Okay. I think the person tried to call me back. I tried to call her back. Dang. Hello. Hello. It's ten o'clock. Hello. <coughs> Hello? Hello. Yes, beloved. What you got for the nation? How you doing, big brother Levi? Everything good? All right, man. All right. It's so good to hear you, man. <laughs> um I go by conscious juice. Um, and it's so funny, I stumbled upon you. Like you're literally like my brother. We look alike. It's so funny. And I'm so grateful to come across your channel. And I just hear a lot of people um, speaking about what is going on right now in relations to, you know, the solar eclipse and the sun and all that right now. And I live in Florida as well. And I, I also broadcast what is going on with the sun, the changes happening with the earth. And today I was, you know, putting my phone to the sky and I, I went live on TikTok and I was showing how um, basically they're getting ready for the solar eclipse because um, earlier today, it was nothing but clear blue skies. There was not a person, like uh, not, not, a, not a cloud in the sky. And then later around five o'clock, six o'clock, uh, they started spraying right in front of the sun. And I know why, and I see why they started spraying in front of the sun. Um, they're getting ready for tomorrow because they actually... Um, already told people that there's going to be a 100% historic chance of clouds. Like, I don't know how you already know that there's going to be clouds the day of the solar eclipse. Like, they've already told people this. So they expecting something big to happen because I literally, I told you, as I was um, recording when I was going live, I had a lot of people watching, and people were watching the planes go in and out and just, you know, obfuscate, uh, obfuscating the, the sun. But at the same time, it, it worked against them because when they were doing this, you can see the big black sun that's behind the little sun. That's what we you tell people. That. That's what we told them, you know? Yes. Yes, yes, you can see that. You can see the big black sun obfuscating behind the little sun. And then in the meantime, on the opposite sides of the middle sun, you can see the other two sons, which is literally like, it would be like Jesus and then the two guys that literally died on the side of Jesus in a sense. You get what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's so beautiful because we're literally in the year of the eight. And then just the other day, my, my wife took a picture of the sun in our background and in, in, in our backyard. And then you can see it looks like an eight. I sent you a picture of it. I sent you a picture of it. It looks like an eight. It looks like a, a DNA strand. It looks like it looks like an hourglass, you know, because time is up, you know, and then our DNA is getting upgraded. It's, it, it looks like so many things. It's so it's, it's so beautiful. And then the, the, the young god, the goddess earlier talked about Seattle 
and I just sent you and all the thing that's going on in Seattle. I just sent you a video where the skies in Seattle are purple, like the like there's the, like the whole sky in Seattle is purple, and uh, we recorded this. And I sent you the video, so you're more than welcome to share that with your with your people. But all right, yeah, well, did um, you, excuse me, beloved. Did you send them by email, text, or how you, did? You... I, I texted them to you to uh, to this number. Okay, uh, because I have not this number saved. Uh, Text me the name, and then okay. I can go ahead and save it, and we will go ahead and share it with the nation if we do have time. Okay, okay, and I want you. I was the call, so I want you to see this, right? Um, it's funny. I want you to realize this. Um, I want you to see something with me. Um, the the young lady talked about, uh, you know, coming going home today, like the swing low sweet chariot song. I believe. Um, so. If you look at the if you look at the the who sings the song, it is it is UB40. Um, the reason why that's very uh, like peculiar because the B the B is actually an eight. Like B and an eight is the same thing because you know letters is numbers, numbers is letters. So the B is the eight, and then you have the four, which you know yesterday what, what, the 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 eclipse is happening on what four eight. You see that they clicked the happened for eight, and then just they just had a an earthquake on the uh what's it called the other day, which was a a, a four point eight. Yep. Do you see? Do you see how all the numbers are lining up? Everything is lining up. Everything and nothing is about its coincidence. Everything has been the way that it is, and whatever those people are planning to do will backfire on them because exactly. they're not in the blessing anymore and their time is up and time for them to get out of here and make place for this new rule that we're going to have because there's nothing that they can do that can either stop this or slow it down or try to delay it. It won't, it won't help. It won't yeah, help. no, it, it's, it, it's over. Just the fact that they're, they're stopping their children from going to school and then getting the National Guard involved, the whole military, like NASA's firing off, CERN's firing off, you know, the cicadas like, wow. that are coming up. Like, all these all these events happening all at once, they don't know what to do. They really they don't, don't know what to and do. That's what we told our people. They really don't know, beloved. They yeah, are going they, out there throwing hash on the wall, see what sticks. They really do not know. Usually you would see those people has an air of confidence in them. Yeah, Usually they don't no, things they, don't bother them up until let me now. tell you, let me let me tell you, brother. I work in healthcare. Um um, and I tend to 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 uh, people like I'm a I'm a massage therapist, and just from just from last year to this year, um, the people that I have been seeing, their health has declined drastically. I'm talking about looking like they have aged at least 10, 15 plus years within a year. So there is something in the air that is literally like. Like re, like 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 reversing life from them, like taking life away from. Them. That's the only way I, that I can explain it. You know what I'm saying? It's like sucking the life out of them, sucking the soul out of them. That's the only way that I can explain it. Yes, that is true. Somebody sent me a message, uh, 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 an article. There is a Dutch woman in the Netherlands, I believe. She scheduled her own euthanization and this may coming up because she can't take it anymore. She's 28 years old. She scheduled mm. her own 988. She went to the yeah. doctor. The doctor said, I, I got the article right here. The doctor said, well, there's nothing we can do for you. We give you all the drugs. We give you all the lies. You have a boyfriend. You have a cat. We got everything. Mm. There's nothing we can do. And then she said, well, if there's nothing you can do for me, I'm checking out of here. So... I made the, the appointment on May and she's checking out of here, and which is legal over there. And, and I believe in, in Netherlands or Switzerland. Okay. Mm -hmm. She, she is, you know, go ahead. She's going to get out of here. So thank you, beloved, for sharing all those things with us. Okay. Okay. Thank you, big leader. I appreciate you, man. Uh, you're welcome. All right. Uh, that was our beloved brother, Conscious Juice. He had shared a lot of uh, stuff with us. Uh, let me see if I can uh, get the article. When I'm trying to share something on YouTube, Google for I mean, YouTube froze my stuff. It just froze the live. I don't know if there is if they. I don't know if they are doing this on purpose, 
or if it's something with the system. Uh, this this lady, I forgot her name. Somebody put her name in there. A young white lady. She's 28 years old. She suffers from depression. She don't know why she's sad. She can't take it anymore. And she's scared to schedule her own euthanization. Okay. All right. Let me see who I have not called. Okay. Okay. Somebody in Virginia. Did we get that person in Virginia? Not quite sure. I don't want to call people twice. Hello? Hey, Shalom, beloved. Did you give us a call? This is Big Levi. My apologies if we call you back. Yes, we, we just talked. Oh, we just talked? Yes. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, this is this is WhatsApp. I'm not quite sure if WhatsApp will work. Uh, whoever's in WhatsApp, go ahead. Can you hear me, Big Levi? Yes, we can hear you, beloved sister. Go ahead. Okay, this is um, this is Deborah. Um, I called you before with the dream of the three items that fell out the sky. It was the light that was encased in the golden case. I don't know if you remember. And then it was the ball of fire, and then it was the feather. I don't know if you remember that yes. dream that I had called yes. in. I yes. gave you that dream. Yes, go ahead. Okay. I had another dream after that, and it was like it involved like all of our people. It was like all of our people had already gathered from like the four corners, and we were like pushed into this like little community. I guess you could say they pushed us into our own like little hood. And so one night, like all these soldiers had came for us. And so they didn't speak to us. They didn't say anything. It was just very like we understood what was going on. We understood and they understood, but they ushered us all into the back of their like military trucks. It was our men, it was our women and our children. And they took us to like this place, like in the desert. The buildings weren't built on top of the sand. They were kind of built underneath the sand. And they didn't really, they didn't speak to us and we didn't speak to them. But we knew that they didn't like us, but there was an understanding that they could not harm us in any type of way. So anyway, as they ushered us into these buildings, they kind of like lined us, lined us up in rows, like in front of each other. Like, you know, I'm just going to say like 30 people in this line, 30 people in the next line like that. But in the building, there was a whole bunch of codes just floating around in the air. And it was like the codes were trying to find each one of us. And, and it was like we were getting downloads. And as the code found us, it just downloaded into us. And we were escorted like through this exit door. And like my dream just in like and we were all just getting these downloads. And as we got these downloads, our bodies just turned like fluorescent green and we were escorted out to this exit door. But the soldiers weren't American and they weren't Chinese by the way they were dressed. I would say they were like more like Soviet, like Russian soldiers. But I had that dream after I gave you that dream of the three items that fell out the sky. Okay, okay. All mm -hmm. right, all right. Thank you, beloved. Of course, we are receiving a lot of downloads. We are receiving a lot of messages and information, the ringing in the ear, communication, the sun being yeah. things, and the sun carry things, and the rays, and the, the frequency and vibration of the sun of course, carry those things and they've been permeated in our DNAs and a lot of things yeah. activated. Of course, uh, from that TV show, The Three Body of a Problem, they talk, they're literally talking about all our dreams and our studies. That's what the show was about. If somebody, you watch this show, uh, beloved, you, you, you done sharing with us? Yes, I am, I am. Thank you so much. Please text me your name because I think this number is new so I can save it, okay? okay. I will. Thank you. All right, Shalom. All right, that was the beloved sister Deborah. Uh, that was WhatsApp. If you call on WhatsApp, um, if you call on WhatsApp, sometime it will come. Sometime it may not come. Uh, let me see if we have some more. We got somebody in DC. Somebody in DC. Uh, do we have that person yet, or did that person call?
Hello? Hey, Shalom, beloved. Uh, what you got for the nation? Hey, bro. Man, I haven't called. I haven't called in a little while. Yeah, you may want I'm calling to, from D.C. Yeah, you may want to I'm call from uh, D.C. The, the mute your TV or put the volume down because the, uh, the sound is bouncing and feedback. Yeah, I'm calling from Washington, D.C. And, uh, and, and I live on 16th Street in Washington, D.C., which, which I believe probably is the most powerful ley line in the world. And I mean, 16th Street, has, it has over 50 churches, mosques, synagogues, and embassies. And I am trying to, I, I am just def, 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 definitely trying to tap into the power. So, so uh, I, and I, I need some instructions, man. So what kind of instructions would you give me? What, 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 what kind of instructions would you give? Would you be able to give me as far as being able to tap into uh, the the powers that's that's coming off this uh, this powerful ley line in Washington D.C. 16th Street? It has over 50 mosques, churches, synagogues, and embassies. All right. Well, starting at the base of the uh, the White House, with which, which I believe the oldest church in America is St. John's Epis Episcopal Church. Okay. And then and then and then the ley line go it goes all the way out on on out into Silver Spring. Okay, all right, oh, oh. beloved. Uh, because let me explain a little bit. All right, we are under instruction not to publicly share uh, those word of power, those powerful ways to activate those things. Just like this brother here, he's being moved to activate them. He's being moved to receive the message. If you are being moved to receive or do those type of things, you may have to sign up with our Patreon, okay? Go to quote-unquote collection, but you have to sign up as Gravis and above. Go to collection, go to Word of Power, go for February, and you will see how to activate the ley line. We cannot tell it Publicly, it's not things that we can tell publicly, okay, beloved. Hello, I, I think the brother, okay. Well, anyway, he might be able to watch the um, the uh, uh the live. We are not allowed to give the instruction publicly. If you need the instruction, you'll go get it because that whatever is gonna happen is gonna be on you. I don't want anybody, okay, if I gave it publicly and then you went and you activate a ley line and then the thing that happened in Maryland over there in Baltimore happened people are no more and then you're like weekly five man I didn't want that and, you know it's your fault now I can sleep at night because I I know that because I did I don't want anybody to do this and then the thing that happened in Texas pen handle with the fire so they are taking things back you have to go get it yourself and then you go use it because this is not, this is fire. This is not for children. Kids don't play with fire. They play with toys. Ah, I guess I have to do this on, on uh, uh, there you go. All right. <laughs> okay. So that's what that is. All right. All right. Let me see. We got at least one more person. That person in Georgia. Did we call that person in Georgia? We got another missed call from uh, somebody in Ohio. Not quite sure. Hello. Shalom, beloved sister. What you got for the nation? Hi. Um, I was calling because I had watched another YouTuber, and he was talking about like 12 and 21 and 12, and you, you know what I mean, as far as the numbers and everything. Can you hear me? Okay. And, and I was calling because my birthday month, the day, and the year, they're all either 12 or maybe one of them might be 21. Is that like a weird thing? 
Well, it will, it will depend. It will depend, and it will depend on your stand. It will depend on the energy. Did you did you do a spiritual background check? No, no. I'm just like just like coming to learn this stuff, like and, and learning, like you okay. know, because okay, you know, you know to this. Ha, go ahead. You you know to this, right? Right, very new. So I'm just like he was talking about twelve. Like the month I was born is twelve. The day I was born is nine. If you put nine plus that two and that one, what do you get? Okay, twelve. So yeah. All right. Well, the number twelve holds great significance and many things. Of course, yes, indeed, the twelve tribe. The number twelve is a blessing. The 12 sons, which was the last son of Jacob, I believe it was Benjamin. And uh, the number 12 for us symbolized the blessing. Mm -hmm. It symbolized the 12, the 12 months, uh, the 12 mm -hmm. zodiac signs, and mm -hmm. this is all a blessing. Now, the number 21, for us, it's pretty much the same thing. But the number 21 is the reverse of number 12. So oh. when we watch the Gentiles get number 21, it's not a good thing for them. It's actually the reverse. Remember, okay. when, when you are on the side of the blessing, for instance, number nine for us is protection. But uh -huh. for them, it's judgment and it's destruction. It will depend on their, who this person is and what's the, uh, the, the, um, uh, uh, the frequency that person is vibrating, but yes, number twelve is a very good number and it's a very powerful number. So that's that's um, what I can say so far, not to overwhelm you, not to overwhelm you. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I was curious about that because it was just like and like even with my last with the year that I was born, I have two numbers in there that you can add together and get twelve. And you know what I mean? So it's like 12, 12, 12. And I'm just like, what, what does this mean? On top of, I do notice that my numbers kind of synchronize with my children's numbers, their birth dates, their, their month they were born and stuff like that. It kind of synchronizes together. But I could never figure out, like, it's like there's a piece of the puzzle that's missing. Well, yes, the piece of the puzzle that needs missing is the spiritual background check which you can get it with us or you can wait until this book coming out. Book, the book was supposed to come out yesterday, I mean, tomorrow, the 8th, mm -hmm. but because of certain things we are doing, we got a couple of people helping us and the book will come out. Make sure you uh, keep an eye on us and when the book come out, it will give you specific instruction how to run your own background and see what's going on with you, your children, your husband, uh, your sister, brother, or anyone that you wish to know. Okay, it's just me because I'm the only one that's like the oddball out. Like, I don't belong with them. I don't belong, and I feel like I don't belong in the world. You know, not that I'm going to do any harm to myself, but it's just you know how you can kind of fit in, but you don't fit in because I don't know. I just I feel it when I feel I'm around the wrong person. It's time for me to go. All right, beloved, that's good. That in your unique. Thank you for sharing with us. Okay. Thank you. All right, shalom. All right, all right. Let me see. Uh, we have a couple more men. I don't think we will have time to go into the movie. Oh boy, it's already um one hour past, beloved. Should we keep on moving? Uh, the people over there and um tic tac, are we good and tic? Are we good and tic tac? The people in TikTok, let me know if you're good. YouTube, should we move in? Should we push in to the next part of the Whatever that we are doing here, this thing wasn't playing like all our podcasts. TikTok, are we good? Are you, the people, are we good and over there in TikTok? I think we have a couple of texts. Should we keep on moving? Uh, I might be able to read some of the texts. All right, I will do this. Sister Wonders. Okay. Should we keep on moving? Okay, Tic Tac say we're good. We should keep on pushing. Uh, what about YouTube? Our people in YouTube. 
forgive me the people in YouTube, the, the comments are a lot and they are moving, okay? And I'm watching TikTok and this, sometimes somebody can ask a question. I may not be able to answer it or not seeing it, okay? Let's share a dream a uh, sister Zita had and, um, okay, what, what, uh, here we go. I think this is it, let me see. Good afternoon, Brother Levi, hello family. I wanted to just share a dream I had this Sunday morning, April 7th, before the April 8th lunar eclipse. I was in my bathroom, which is not my actual bathroom. This one had a window and I was listening to a YouTube teaching so I didn't have on the bathroom light because it was like the middle of the day and the sun was coming into the room. Outside, I remember hearing these people talking. They were some two third walking down the street talking really loud. Then all of a sudden the light started to go low and it started to get darker and darker until it was like night outside. And it, I didn't have my phone on, the bathroom would have been pitch black. And so I was like, wait a minute, I haven't been in here all day. And then I realized it was the eclipse. So I woke up this morning and I said, hmm, what does that mean? Well, in the natural, the bathroom is where we go to release and purge as well as to cleanse ourselves. And I was in the shower cleaning and I said, okay, so this is gonna be a cleansing event, a rejuvenation event. And then I got the download that the message is for those who have done the work, who have done the sacrifice, that this time will bring on a cleansing experience, a cleansing reality, a rejuvenation like you've never had before, as well as an increase in abundance in areas that you have done the work. If you have been seeking anything in particular, you shall find it in this season. That was, that was beloved sister. That was beloved sister Zida. She shared this dream via WhatsApp with us. Let me move in with the others, okay? There's a cleanse coming up. Uh, let me see. Somebody was... Uh, I don't know if this is a dream the sister shared with us. Let me see. Another thing I wanted to add, beloved, is that Pharaoh Nowers um, was actually over Heliopolis. Okay, that's that's the sister. We were talking about some stuff. Brother Levi, this is Sister Belinda again. My son Ronnie had just experienced a seizure. It just come out of nowhere. Keep him in prayer. I beloved keep uh, beloved sister Belinda and uh, her son Ronnie, and I believe the son just have a seizure about an hour or two ago, and she just sent me the message. I was not, there are so many things in there. I just received it. Sister Belinda and her son, Ronnie, uh, coming out of nowhere. And uh, he had a, 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 an encounter. Uh, he had an encounter yesterday, which was pretty, it was quite bad. It was almost an assault. This could have been the reason for the trigger. And uh, keep the beloved in your prayer, okay, both her and her mother, uh, both her and her son. Uh, okay. All right. Sister Makaya, talk about the cicadas. Uh, there's a lot in here. She says something about the cicadas. All praises to the most high Yahuwah, Big Judah. All praises to the most high Big Levi. This is Micaiah. Just got up from work and I'm sitting here on my sofa. I was in conversation with my sister, who is in the truth. 
And there were some revelations that came forth during that conversation that I was, we were talking about the two nations coming together, which is spoken of that was going to happen in the last day. Big Levi, listen to this. You got a trillion cicadas coming up tomorrow. The trillion cicadas that's coming up first is going to be male cicadas, okay? They're dark brown, some are black. Okay, so think of it. You got the male cicadas, so-called African-American men, that's coming up from the earth. My father, the earth is his and the fullness thereof. So whatever is coming up, you who is sending it up? Okay, you got two different broods that's coming up. Big Levi. They're going to be singing two different songs, just like it was when our ancestors came here and saw us years. They didn't recognize us. They didn't speak the language. They're going to be singing two different songs, Big Levi. Songs that ain't nobody sung before. Those songs are going to hit the universe. And my God, my God, my God. Then you got the female cicadas coming up. That's going to be flapping their wings. That's going to be giving an okay, okay to the male cicadas. This is my revelation, is that when, when Judah and the house of Israel rise up in their power, the black women are going to rise up with them too. Hallelujah. I just, I get chills to think about, you know, that what the Most High does, only those that are awakened can see what is happening Oh, let me share this with you. I was in the kitchen this morning, and I was thinking, wasn't thinking about the um, the the seven planets lining up behind the sun. A boy spoke to me and said, "Information." F O R M A T I O N. So information meant that they were lining up for battle. Glory, hallelujah! Letting us know that we got Orioles back. Touch them and you're going to touch us. This is my revelation, Big Levi. I don't know if anybody else see it this way, but this is what came to me. And I went on that same 40 day fast that everybody else went on this year, fast and pray and seeking the most high. Then I went on the 40 day fast last year with nothing. So I'm believing I know his voice. I'm believing I know my Shekinah glory. And I love you, Big Levi. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You take care. Bye bye. Big Levi, that's my last message, I think. I'm sitting here on my sofa, and the game is on TV between Iowa and South Carolina. They put a crown on that white girl. Kind of made her like a god. And I'm sitting here watching this game, and I said, Yahuwah, if what I'm saying is true, let these girls from South Carolina dethrone Iowa, dethrone that white girl. The rain is over. The rain is over, Big Levi. My God, my God, my God. The score is 87 to 75 in favor of South Carolina. My God. So what I'm saying, what I told you is true. I asked the most high for a sign. Let me know what I'm saying is true. Let me know these things that I'm speaking is from you. Glory. Hallelujah. All right. That was that was Sister Makaya uh, through WhatsApp. Yes, indeed. With the cicadas through Two, two broods, okay, trillions of them, beloved, okay, trillions of cicadas are coming, all right, they're going to sing, they're going to make vibration, they're going to make noises, okay, noise produce resonance, resonance produce undulation, and the wave, something is waking up. Let's say we are already waking up, but there's something in us that is not waking up it it's waking but it's turned off our power need to turn back on and this great beast that is in the ocean need to come back up we have a lot of good stuff in the ocean see the same way that you see this eclipse going to go over there in the sky there's things going on in the ocean also there's things that are happening under under uh, under earth also as above so below if there's an eclipse a great event over there, 
on the sky and there's a great event of those cicadas coming out of the ground, it correlates, it's, it's connected. The cicadas is a form of eclipse, but with sounds, not with light, okay? There's a lot of sign going on out there, Richard, okay? There's a lot over there, all right? So now since we're pretty much done with all the call, okay, if somebody call, we may not be able to pick up this person. Let's move to the second part of this quote-unquote uh, podcast. But uh, before that, beloved, oh, okay, uh, let's play a little music. Let's take a, a little break. Uh, let's play a little music for... Oh, there oh boy. <laughs> Let me put that down. There you go. Going to play a little music here and then we'll be back. Just going to check some stuff. Uh, right. Okay. Hmm. Uh oh, <laughs> I, I, I put it in the wrong thing. It's broadcasting in this, so I got to put it right there. There you go.
right, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, then. Okay. Uh, can, every, can everybody hear me? The people in Patreon. <laughs> Excuse me. The people in TikTok, can you hear me? I'm back. Uh, the people in YouTube, can you hear me? Uh, please give me a one. I'm back. Okay, let me turn on the light. We turn on the light. Let's just share with the people on YouTube for the brother that was asking how to activate the ley lines, okay? It's the word of all for February. You may want to go ahead and download that, okay? So we have a lot of things, please. Those things, we cannot give them just like that. Unfortunately, the people in uh, TikTok can see this because it's in the computer. Just go to Patreon, Big Levi, you know, Big Levi will find me and then uh, sign up, Gravis and above, download it, go do your thing. That is if you are moved to do this. If you are not moved, don't do it. Just leave this thing for whoever is being moved to do that, okay? All right. And uh, again, if, um, okay, all right. If you wish to study with us, you wish to get things with us, you wish to know what we know, how we get all this information. There are certain information we cannot give them publicly. It's not because of the Gentiles. They are watching our Patreon. They are there. We'll prove it to you. They are students and members. It is because of the profane, the one that have zero respect. A lot of the so-called Gentiles that are watching this, they have a lot of respect for our information. They just do a shame to bring it out there, okay? For instance, uh, the, the movie on Netflix, well, the TV show on Netflix called three body of, uh, of problem. Okay, before we go into this, beloved, uh, which one, excuse me, which one of you have seen it? I'm, I'm in episode six right now. It's eight episodes, I'm two episodes behind. Which one of you see it? Pa which one of you see it until episode five? Because that's where I stop. Uh, episode five. Which one of you see it until episode five? Uh, Brother Prime see it, Sister Brother Amon, uh, Lakeisha saw it. Uh, let me see again. Miss Lady saw it, Gigi Love, Cynthia Price, uh, Sister Lakeisha see all of it. Uh, LW Black is at uh, episode two. Uh, Brother Yesha Music is at episode three. Chosen One Indeed. Uh, Eliezer saw the whole thing. Momo H episode four. I highly recommend you say episode five. Episode five, they really went in. <laughs> episode five, they really went into it. They really, they, I'm like, they let them do this? They actually let those people show that. What is the show? Uh, the show is called Three Bodies of Problems. And you see those people use a form of the sacrament in there. That's how they figured out the problem. That's how they figured out the three sons were not the problem. It's the people that is the problem. <laughs> the eclipse is not the problem. It is the people. Okay. Uh, somebody put the name of the show. Thank you, Sister Kela. Three body problem. What is three body problem? Not to spoil it. It will be spoiled. It's a Netflix TV show about what we are studying and what we are talking about. The people that are watching us, they are also students in our Patreon. They watch, they study also with us because the information that we're bringing out there, they are not getting in it any other place except from us. Remember, the priesthood of Mahan hide this information from them. They are not telling them anything. And they told you that in the movie, especially in episode Four or five. I believe in episode five, they went all out in this thing. They told you that in episode five, they can't hear the Lord anymore. Whatever that was talking to them on the other side, once this thing realized we cannot coexist with liar, communication cut. 
Now, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to go a little bit not to spoil it. If you really pay attention, I'm receiving a text message from my other phone. I can, I can answer it now. But anyway, if you pay attention to three bodies of problem, it's about us. It's about the eclipse. What was the main theme of this show? Anybody can tell us. You can call if you wish to discuss a specific episode that caught your eye. Episode five really threw me off. They went all out in that. I'm like, what? They really see? Okay. They, they, they didn't hold back on this thing. But anyway, um, anybody care to chip in? What was the main theme of this? What is that? They, they called the show three body of problem. It should have been called the main theme. Anybody caught uh, the main theme of it? You, you may call if you wish. Oh, oh, that thing was not even connected. Connected is now. There we go. Now it's connected. All right, Brother Mackinson, they talk about 400 years on the show. That was a major drop. That was the theme of that show, Regin. I'm not making this up. The main theme of this show was 400 years. They should have called this. <laughs> Yo, they should have called this show 400 years is over. That's that's the that that was the whole theme of the show. It has nothing to do with the three body, whatever they call it. Yay, that's how they lure you in. But the main theme of the show was supposed to be 400 years. What is it? 400 years. Well, there is a, a young Chinese lady, so to speak, a young, young Asian woman. She had suffered some stuff in her childhood and things happened to her. She got angry. She was a physicist. And then they put her in some kind of special Chinese project and whatever. And so they make contact with the outside world and then they have contact with a specific being. And those beings, they, they are pretty much advanced. And uh, not, they are not that advanced. Uh, to the Gentiles' mind, they are advanced, but those beings are very, they're actually less, at less, 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 one million times less advanced than the Atlantean because they have to travel from their, of course, they have to do the show like that. They have to travel from their planet to Earth, their planet's being destroyed because um, their planet is become unstable. Uh, the, the, the solar system becomes unstable because they got three suns just like we do. And then it's become unstable, so they find Earth. They're gonna come and leave and try to coexist with the so-called um, human. But it will take them four hundred years to travel from their planet, two hours. Four hundred years it will take them. Of course, there's a twist in it. We do know what they are talking about, the 400 years. Beloved, I'm not making this up. When you watch the show, it's literally you like, did one of our brothers work these things? The dialogue was really good. The acting was top notch. The story was, mm. they told everything in this thing, but subliminally, of course. Episode five, of course, they, they show you that they use their technology that they have now, which is the highest technology they have, it's nanotech. That's the highest technology that they have, nanotech. Did you know those people still have steam steam engine? Steam and well, excuse me, steam technology or steam power still exists. You are watching me here. I'm getting electricity from steam. The Teslas or your phone are able to charge because of steam, water, and fire, electric, magnetic, electromagnetic. They haven't moved past that. Even though you heard them talking about a fusion, we're going to have fusion technology, we're going to have to have this and things like that. No. They can move past steam technology, which they had not discovered, which they... 
backwardedly re-engineering back in the 1800s. Nuclear power is steam. How do those people power works? Take a boil like um, a pressure cooker, fill it with water, and then put it on your stove, turn on the fire, and then the fire will boil the water and the water will be a pressure. And the pressure, you can use the pressure, you pass it to a tube, you connect the tube to a turbine, a turbine spin. And then when the spinning turbine, you connect it to a generator, it produces electricity. That's all. That's the base of the technology. It can't go past that. That's one of their limitation. Two, they cannot travel faster than the speed of sound, barely. So they had this idea to go confront the alien, so to speak, the sun T. You can you can make this up. The alien, they have to travel in space, but they can they try to harness one percent of the speed of light. This is the most primitive, ridiculous way to travel to another planet. Is by actually travel there. Our ancestors, when they want to travel there, they are there. If they want to be there, they are there. That's how we travel. What the manner they try to and, and, and try to travel is so primitive. First of all, they can't pierce the firmament, they can't get out of there. Of course, it's a TV show where well, they try to do this. But you don't if you want to go to Mars, you go to Mars. If you want to go to Mars right now, based on what we are studying and our brothers that went to Mars and Venus, you know, it just it happened in an instant. If you follow the instruction that we, we, we anywhere you want to go and instantly it happened you there just like what they in the movie of oh, excuse me in the tv show where they put this thing you see that thing that they put in their in their head it looked like a remember when we were talking beloved and i told the nation when you go into meditation go out of here there you go excuse me there you go that's it. That's all you need. I'm not making this up. That's all you need. The moment you put this in and you know your password, you know how to activate the wormhole, you there. Just like in the movie, when they look, they were there. They can taste the sand. They can taste the blood. They can feel everything. That's what it felt when you go over there for the people that have done that. This is exactly what they show. But of course, in a sleeker way, better futuristic like way, that's what it is. Okay, which shows you those people, of course, of, they are watching and studying, and they are not getting the information from the priesthood of Mahan because the priesthood of Mahan shut the door on them. They don't know what to do. They try to appeal to us. There's a form of uh, mea culpa in there, but yeah, judgment is set. So in the TV show, the highest technology they have was nanotech. What is nanotech? Well, they're trying to make our people so afraid of nanotech. All right. The smallest measurement that human being, I'm assuming, can see are the micron, I believe. You see, when you're, I say bacteria, when you put the bacteria under a microscope, you can see it. The smallest object we can see probably be a grain of sand or dust or dust. I th can we see dust mites? Not quite sure if the human eye can see dust mite. But the smaller that you go, the more powerful you are. That's our soul. Our soul is so small, no fire can burn it. No water can drown it. No air can dry it. No earth can crush it. Your soul, because those people are soulless, they don't have you, what you have. They are animated, but not by your, but not by soul. Like, they don't have that. They are soulless. 
Your soul is so powerful, it's immortal. That's the only thing that is immortal in this reality or all the others. Anytime you hear alien or gods are call, talking, they are calling you mortal, it's an insult because you're not a mortal. They are. You are immortal. Well, I live for 20,000 years. You live, you live for 20,000 years. That's 20 days of my time. Oh, this God lived 50,000 years. He only lived for 50 days. That's like a baby, excuse me, Heavenly Father, a baby born and lived for 50 days. Because one day for them, one day for us to them is a thousand years because we come from the mighty one. Let's say you are 30 years old. That's, thir well, the 30 years old, how many days? Oh, boy, that, this is a little bit too high. Let's say a baby is one year old. And one year, there is 365 days. Now, 365 days times 1,000, that is 3.6 million years or 3, um, 300 and, and 3 million years? Is that what, what 3.6 million years? They cannot live that long. They barely can live a, a, a thousand years. Where we in this plane, we live like 70, 90 days, 90 years. When you translate 90 years in that time, it translates like millions, hundreds of millions of years. We don't, that's how long we live. Then we go back, our body will recycle, we come back again. We never die. But then once they're gone, that's set for them. They never come back. So those people that in the in the in, in the TV show, the highest technology that they have was nanotech. Again, nanotech is the smallest they can go. See your cell phone. This is powered by nanotechnology. Nano is a unit of measurement. I believe under under macro mm -mm. below nano there is femto or ato. They don't have femtotech. Femtotech is super advanced. You do know back then in the 90s, for those of you that play your little video game in the 90s, in the 90s when you have a Nintendo or a Nintendo 6, what I say, let's say, super, not super Nintendo, the regular Nintendo, they couldn't hold one gig of information. They were like two megabytes. Now, a picture that you take with this iPhone, it's two megabytes. You cannot even store it on the Nintendo because it's too big. Now, an iPhone is like one terabyte. How do they achieve this? They store it on a nano level. Back then, they could not. They could store on a, on a megabyte, and and then then they go for gig memory. Okay, floppy disk. Floppy disk is like you could not. Did, I don't think a floppy disk could hold anything above a gig. So somewhat their their technology progressed. Now you have three terabytes, ten terabytes. The file that they had from the fellow from the but it was over one hundred petabyte. What was that? What that is? Petabyte? Pet, petrobyte? which is a hundred million terabytes. That's the only technology they have, transistor. You do know they don't have superconductors, right? They, they don't have superconductors. This is a superconductor. Plants are able to process information at room temperature. You see your flowers, that is why it is always good to have the flower, your birth flower with you in your, in your house. They are able to process information at room temperature. They can't. For them to have somewhat a version of a, a quantum computer, they need to freeze this quote-unquote superconductor below zero, below like three, negative 300, negative 575 Kelvin. Do you know how cold that is? 
petabyte. Yeah, petabyte. It was 100 petabyte, which is 100 trillion, whatever. And, <coughs> excuse me, when they tried to work the code to get into the, the hard drive and the black dude, the little Chinese fellow say, how long is it going to take you guys? Look at, look at, look at. He said, yo, you try to break into a quantum computer. A super, the super, you see this thing? This quantum computer, this case that you see here? For them to access the information that is in there, even if they take their most powerful supercomputer that they have there, that China has, France, United States, all of them put together, it will take them somewhere around 300 trillion years trying to break into a quantum computer. That is if they are lucky. They can't. It's impossible. You see this? They cannot gain access to it. They tried. It didn't work. We are the only group of people that can gain access to this. That's why they are telling you it is witchcraft. That's why they tell you don't touch it because they can't and they know what those things have in there because it's a so called supercomputer, well, a quantum computer. Quantum is another word, magic. It's a magic computer, it, it does magic. With this, you can do what you see. With that, if there's a certain level that you reach, you can tell it, Hey, print me ten thousand dollars, it will just print it, it'll just beam the whatever you, you say, Hey. Beam money on my bed reaching the ceiling. It will just print it like that. It's real money. Just like this thing can do inorganic, it can do organic, such as food, water, and whatever. The 12 stones of the house of Israel was not 12 stones. They are 12 crystals. Remember the, the word crystals, of, it's not ancient. They call them stones. David took a stones and shoot Goliath in the head. He stunned him. Bam! With a stone. Oh, well, he put the stone in a slingshot. And no. David had one of those things. The story of Isaiah, David, and all those. That's how Jack Kirby get the new gods with DC Comics. It's the story of the Bible. Technology, dark side, um, high father. This is Bible stories. And it's true form, if I may say so. Big Bada is actually the George Deborah. So again, their technology, nano, in which they were, oh, well, the alien are killing the scientists and the physicists and stuff like that. I know what they are trying to do. But anyway, I don't want to uh, go ahead and, and spoil it because I'm still at uh, uh, episode six. The two more episodes are done. And that's, that's where their technology stops at nano. They can go below nano. And it is say, once you go below the plank length, which is the smallest unit that you main mind can comprehend beyond the plank length, that said things are getting weird. You're like, what the, what's going on here? Things are getting weird. And then they say you are entering the quantum realm, which is mean magic. That's why they say, don't do magic, man. Y'all need go. You ain't gonna go to heaven and practice magic because they can go there. They barely can pass nanotech. That's where the technology stops. Nano. If you are able to go below nano, I believe it's auto, but let's say femto. You see, femtotech, if you come up with a phone and you can store information at a femto level, you know what that means? It means you can take all the cell phone in the world. You take all the information, all the videos, all everything on the internet, every picture that ever been taken for millions and trillion of years. You download it on your phone, it won't make a dent in it. It won't make it. You're not gonna remove one hair of space if you can store at the femto level. You can take all the information, all the planet, all the stars including every single person in this universe. You take all those information, you download it into a femto level, it will make a dip. That's how powerful this thing is. Your soul go below that. You go so small. 
You went to the tripletech.net, which they can't go. They try to. Sometimes they let them access there. They let them go, and it's terrifying. Them. That's why they don't want you to have this. That's why those are criminalized. That's why this is vilified, because this is a quantum computer. They told you that in the movie King Kong, uh, uh, Godzilla versus King Kong. In the movie Godzilla versus King Kong, for those of you who saw it, the whole city is made out of quartz crystals. This is not devilish. This is technology. Again, beloved people, like our big you are talking with such a confidence. Are you able to actually? No, I'm not. Not yet. Not yet. There are certain things I can do with this. I can project certain stuff, but the information is I don't know yet. Maybe after the eclipse, I don't know. We'll get more information. Okay. So again, the iPhone is the greatest technology. Not even that technology. Those are stuff we had in Atlantis. We don't even use them anymore. And then somehow they got certain, some of our people sold out back with it, you know, engineering them and they have certain access to them. But that technology cannot move further than that. One thing I forgot to mention, aerodynamics, speed. This is how primitive those people are. If, you, if anything go faster than the speed of sound, it will push the air out of the way. And once it passes it bad, it will make a sound. Have you ever heard of the sound boom, the sonic boom? If you go at the speed of sound, you break the sound by air. And if you are here, you can shatter windows. You can shatter glasses. You can shatter timpen. Is that what that is? Timpen or timpen? Eardrums. And when you go faster or at the speed of sounds, the sound never stop. You hear one boom. Boom. That's what you over here hear. And everybody that this thing is passing, they're going to keep hearing the boom. So it never stops. It goes boom, 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 boom. That's why uh, certain airplane they forbid. It's actually illegal for airplane to break the sound barrier. Airplane cannot break the sound barrier if they want to. You know that. Fighter jets cannot break the sounds barrier. It's illegal for them to, unless they are doing certain show. But they cannot break the sound barrier if they want to. It's very damaging. If they have to break the sound barrier, they have to go very high. So the people below won't hear them. That's why they can't travel at the speed of light. Well, Elon Musk is going to build the Hyperloop and then we're going to travel faster than the speed of sound or at the speed get, the, get, get out of here. You ain't gonna go. Your technology start with the Tesla, the iPhone, barely the AI because you had the AI since the 1940s. You came upon it in 1492. You didn't know what it was. In the 40s, you used, used the AI in the 1910, 1900. Oppenheimer, the atomic bomb, lies, lies. You only had one atomic bomb, which you stole from the armory. They told you, don't pick that up. You stole it. You kind of do some kind of backward things. You come up with some kind of bomb right after you drop that one in Hiroshima, and you didn't drop it onto the so-called Japanese. The people that you are bombing during World War I and World War II, they were our people. You are destroying our civilization. You are destroying what you are calling now Tartaria. That's what you guys were doing. You were destroying those huge monuments. And when no war, you killing this guy, that guy was killing this guy. You are destroying our people. The ancient buildings, ancient technology, you could not explain. You bombed them. That's what you were doing. Watch the anime Attack on Titan. Terrible, it's a terrible anime, man. It's, it's very violent, but it is the truth to a certain degree. So this show on Netflix has everything to do with what we are studying here. Yeah, they should have called this show The 400 Years is Over, Pay Up. The 400 Years is Up. That's what they should have called the show. But they call it the three body of problem and the solar. They use the sacrament. They use every single thing. You know one thing that I noticed, beloved? 
when you're watching those people movies now, they do not, beloved, use the narrative of the so-called conspiracy theorists. You see that? The narrative of the Illuminati, some group of people that are super alien, reptilian beings that are so strong, don't with them because they're going to beat you. They are so strong. They're going to take over the world. They're going to do this. They're going to bring that. They're going to... They, they don't make movies and TV shows about this garbage anymore. They don't do that. They are making movies and TV shows about what we are talking now. Because they know the garbage. Is, they don't make movies about, well, there will be... Oh, the rapture. Please tell me. They may be do. I mean, I know. Tell me one movie that those people made is about the rapture or the time or the judgment they come and somewhat, some way, a group of alien or spaceship come or some brilliant scientists build this spaceship and then they all went to Mars and they all went to, I don't know, another planet. They love Mars. I don't know why those people want to go to Mars. Imagine it's not that nice. Oh, they they want to go everywhere. Have you ever wondered what is it that other alien, when they make alien movies, they always want to come to Earth. But why can't, if those aliens are so advanced, why can't they go to Mars? They could just terraform Mars. Well, Mars doesn't need to be terraformed. Mars is just like Earth. There are people over there. All the planets, whether you want to believe it or not, they have people in there. They're all alive and beautiful green Earth, so to speak. They have other animals, other human beings. Some of our brethren and sisters went over there. Okay? We have the information. They are well aware of that. It's just the it's it's the, the the ego maniac in them. F is the only thing that exists. We say so. Don't look up. Don't study. Don't do anything. But anyway, that's not the point. Is not this. The, the point is, beloved, they stop listening to those conspiracy theories. They don't make movies about nonsense anymore. They used to listen to them. You know how we know that? Because they made that movie in two thousand nine. They made the movie two thousand twelve. Because around 2008, 2006, 7, 8, that's when the whole Illuminati, Rihanna, come up with that movie, that song, uh, Under My Umbrella. That's when the Gentiles knew what's coming. And then they were putting all those uh, backward theories about how Jay-Z and, and Lil Wayne or, or Kabbalists and stuff. You have no idea what the Kabbalist is. Man. The Kabbalists are like the thief, a master and an apprentice. When the apprentice become the master, he kill the master and then take another apprentice and so on. That's not how Kabbalist is. It's just so rare. If there's one Kabbalist, there's not two. That's, that's how rare this thing is. Or oh, Lil Wayne is a Kabbalist. It's particularly Kabbal. That's nothing to do with this. Man. Oh, Jay-Z. Jay-Z is like, he, he's a super alien being. Like, you know, he's going to rule the world. Remember in 2007, well, there's, uh, the new world order going to come in 2012. In 2012, Bill Gates... And all the other guys, they're going to rule the world as if they weren't. Or the elite, the queen, going to come in power and then she's going to rule the world. And, and all the other rich, the, the one who said the cabal, 2012 being 12 years ago, now you see the truth. They don't make movies about this nonsense anymore. <clears throat> Watch most of their movies. It's about exactly what we are talking about. With zero shame, brothers. And you can feel somewhat the shame, but it's like a pride. The shame. It's like, like I will get me put the shame out there. Yeah, whatever, dog. I'm sorry. You want, to, you want me to say I'm sorry? Is that what you want to say? That's how they say they are sorry. They are cleaving, beloved, with, with great pride. Yeah, 2012, the end of the world. They were going to be ending in 2012. No, it didn't. And we have 12 years of receipt. Will it be ending tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> will it end it tomorrow? Well, a certain world, a certain other people's world will be ended, but it won't be our world. It won't be this beautiful earth. They are watching. They are listening. They are very afraid. Like the brother said, they don't know what to do. They have no idea what to do. Because the priesthood of Mahan cut off, communica cut off communication with them for a very long time now. 
like we said, those people truly realize in 2020 something was wrong. They realized they did not get raptured in 2020. They realized the government did not give a about them in 2020. Oh, they come with a bunch of lies. Oh, well, the vax. This is the mark of the beast. The beast, the beast yeah, the Messiah going to come. Okay, wait a minute. I, how is it? I thought the Messiah was supposed to come before the mark of the beast, rapture you people, and then after that, some Russian dude coming over there preaching peace, 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 and then he say, hey, you can have to do it. No, none of this thing happened. What did the Russian did? Can anybody tell us what that Russian fellow did? Instead of him going out there and say, hey, hey man, we need peace, um, worship, uh, worship white Jesus, what did that Russian fellow do? See, the news is very quiet about that. They don't say anything about that. He went out there He showed a picture of all people. Mom? Mom? I, I need that book. I need that book. I need there's another Russian Russian icon, but it's in Russian. Uh, can those highly weird people repent? I do not know. I do not know. And I don't think those people want to repent. All I know, whoever took the bag knowingly, you can't repent. Not every sin is repentable, like the Christian church said. Every sin is repentable. No. You took the bag, son. You enjoyed the blessing, son. Then you pay. Those Hollywood people enjoy that blessing, man. They get that money. They get the women. They get the children. They get everything. And then at the end right now, Tomorrow, before this big thing, Lord, Black Jesus, like Vladimir Putin, we repent. And then Black Jesus is going to say, you're lucky. You're lucky you already wait. I mean, if you did wait for one more hour, you, you, you're going to get it. But you're lucky. I forgive you. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't take big math. It doesn't work like that. If they had repented, they would have been here in the comment board. They would have called. They would have said, they would have made video. They would have done what Mr. Putin have done. If they had truly repented, they would have done what that brother doing, Dana Stevens, would have, would have, would have done. They would have go out there and tell the truth. The fact that they are out there living the life, keeping the lies going, they really do not care. Mom! They really do not care. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys one 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 book. Um, oh boy. See if my mother can get this book for me. It's over there. Ma, God is so sad. Um, uh, Yes, what we live here and there, we go live now. And they were asked, no? And they're like, they are who is Russian, over Kali. Over Kali, they are premier. Well, yes. Yes, yeah, in Russian. Yes. Yeah, long. No, 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 lot now. Let me see. Yes. It's in Russian. Can't read. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a Russian book. Okay. Boy, this thing, this thing is so dusty. Are they showing that? Give me a one if you can hear, see it. The people in uh, TikTok. <coughs> This book is an, it's another Russian icon, but in Russian. Can't read it yet, but let me try to read it. Let me try to let me try to read the title. Excuse me. Oh, damn. 
saying it's so dusty. We try to translate this and read the title for you folks. Yeah, Skull Viking, Russian icon, uh, 13 to 16 uh, century, I believe. Let me see that, who that is. Uh, this is John the Baptist from China. Okay, John the Baptist and John the Theologist. Okay, John the Baptist right here. Two Johns. Two Johns. Okay, those books are like 8,000, 1,500 bucks. This is the Russian icon and Russian. This is John the Baptist. You see what you see behind their head? That's uh, that's the symbols that they are the saint. And I truly believe those things are going to come in back behind our head. You can see them. That's the symbol of the saint because they were the, the Israelites. They are the saints, okay? This is in Russian. There you go. You see the angelic being with wings? They are not white. If those people are from Hollywood truly did repent, they would have made movies and casting uh, uh, well, that well, fellow uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson as Jesus, boy, that that was <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson as Yahweh Shai, and they would have casting all those black Jonathan Jonathan Major as Judas, and uh, um, all the other brothers. They would have cast them and make a big, big Hollywood stuff and say, "We sorry, this is the truth." They did it. They don't, and they won't. Okay. Okay, look at the, the man and the woman. All right, the man and the woman. People in, um, um, showing the people in TikTok so you can see them. All right. TikTok, give me a one if you can see them well. The man and the women. All right. So, let me see if I can translate that. Um, Saint Barbara confesses the faith of Christ. The Saint of Ul Ulani asks about faith Christ confessed for the sake of commending torment. Um, okay, that's Saint Barbara. Okay, dark skin. Okay, so if you watch closely here, this is the Inquisition going on right there. Uh, I'll show it to pay to um oops I'll show it to to um uh, TikTok in a moment. Okay, th this is the Inquisition right there. You see, you see how they tie the brother upon the room, uh, upon the room, <laughs> upon the wheel, and they are beating him. The brother uh, with the with the white skirt. You see how they are beating him? That was the Inquisition right there. They tie him to the wheel. The people on TikTok. It's the brother right there upon the wheel. Okay? The TikTok. You can see it. They put it upon the wheel. That was the Inquisition. This is how long those people have been doing the Inquisition. Okay, let me see what that is. Assumption from the feast. This is the feast of Assumption and um, from the Holy Day Court. The feast of Assumption and the Holy Day Court. 
the Feast of Assumption right there in the Holy Day Court. You can see the angelic being, they are black. We are not making this up. Okay, this is um, this is the real Russian icon. And I, I can't pick up the, the call, I'm live. Okay. Sorry about that, I can pick up. Okay. This is not white Jesus over there. All right. This is not white Jesus about this cross that you Christian love. Oh boy, it's 11 o'clock. That's what she's calling me. Let me try to call her from this one. Give me a second. Uh, I don't think it's even in there. Oh, crap. It's not in there. Her phone is not even in there. Uh, Tic Tac, I'm going to have to cut this short. But anyway, we will come back. Not tomorrow, though. Uh, we will come back um, <laughs> probably on Tuesday, and we will finish this. Let me leave the book right here. This is the true Russian icon, okay? It's in Russian. Okay, it's called Scav icon, okay? All right. Um, Ma, got your feeling right? Okay, all right. We're going to want to stay another 10 minutes. Uh, any question, beloved? Any question? The newcomers, the people that are new, anybody in um, TikTok, if you knew, let us know. I, I'll try to go live on TikTok whenever I'm going live on YouTube, but I'm going to put the camera in front so I can see the question. I only have two. I have two. Um, what they call this thing again? I have two. Ah, boy. Two moderators on TikTok. If you would like to be a moderator on TikTok, send me a message. Or be my friend. I believe that's how you can do it. Be a friend on TikTok so I can put your moderator because I only have two and I don't see so far the comment. Okay, the, the, the comment been behaving on TikTok. So far, no true. All right. Uh any question? I'm using my backup only to mention that I said deliver an email. I have no clue why I got deleted, but I apologize for spamming if I spam. Um okay. I glitch master gameplays. Usually it's uh, the gamers that came over there trying to do stuff. But anyway, uh, come to more after the eclipse. I'm not quite sure, beloved. Usually I uh, tomorrow is a sacred day for our people. And uh, I want our people to, to let the day be holy. Let what needs to be done, let it be done. Let it be done. If a brother or sister go live, go live with them. But remember, beloved, whatever's going to happen tomorrow, it will happen. The sun will rise tomorrow. The eclipse will happen no matter what, beloved. In the midst of that, if I, you're watching the eclipse tomorrow, no. Tomorrow I'm staying inside, praying, meditating. Um, just uh, I'm making a limp tomorrow. For those of you that have the limp homework, I'm making a limp tomorrow. Okay, a limp of deliverance, a limp of thank you, a limp of a limp of things given, man. Just for tomorrow, making a limp. Just you know, do stuff like this, okay? Yeah, I won't be watching the eclipse. Nothing wrong with that. If you want to go watch it, watch it. You want to celebrate, do. But me personally, I have to observe this day and think about these great things that the Holy One is doing for us and the greater things is about to be doing for us. That's what I will do. That's why I would just sit down and ponder and meditate. I could have get the sacrament, but it's not wise to use the sacrament under the eclipse. It's not wise, at least to me. I'll be praying and contemplating, crying and thinking. I believe the beloved brother, Big Judah, just went live, beloved. So uh, somebody put the link of the live for brother Big Judah so the people can go over there. Um, okay, brother Big Judah just went live, so uh, the nation go over there, go live with the brother, and I will leave you guys with peace. Okay, I say shalom. Okay, keep the nation in your prayer, the beloved sister Belinda and her son, and of course, uh, beloved, uh, keep the vibration high, keep the truth. The nation need you, 
83 need you. A lot of them are afraid. They don't want to be perish. Tell you the truth, there's nothing we can do for them, but the ones that are cleaving, those are the only ones that can receive some mercy. Shalom, beloved family. Go hang out with Brother Big Judah, and I'll see you folks whenever the mighty one says so. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Okay? Shalom. Out. Uh